Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to talk about filament clusters. And filament clusters help us to declutter our admin uh, panel sidebar. So if you have a sidebar that has very many items, in this case, I have a sidebar that has a few items, but sometimes you may find that you have very many navigation items uh, shown here. So you can use the clusters to remove some of uh, the navigation items and be able to create a sub navigation item with a cluster name. So for example, if we want to remove the first three items from this navigation, we will just have one navigation item here, but then we will have a sub menu inside our cluster. So basically, it can assist you to reorder your user interface and make it a little bit more nicer and cleaner. So let us go ahead and see how to create a cluster. And before we do create a cluster, we have to go to our app and then uh, providers, the filament service provider, and ensure that we indicate where our clusters are going to be found. So as you can see here, we are discovering resources in app filament resources, and we are discovering pages in app filament um, pages like that. So I would like to just uh, copy this line one more time. And this one we are going to call filament clusters. And of course, for the name, it will not be discover pages. It should be discover clusters. So even this one, I'm going to change. And then it should, should be in the page app filament clusters in that way. So basically, that is what we are going to have. After that, we can go ahead and create our cluster. So I would like to ha have our cluster having this custom page. This is just a custom page, it's not a resource. And we have two resources, that is message settings and uh, settings. So we are going to create a cluster, which I'm going to call all settings. So PHP artisan make filament cluster, hyphen cluster. And the name of our cluster, I'm going to call it all say things like that such that it is a little bit different from whatever it is that we have after that we can go ahead and see the cluster that we have created so we go inside the directory filament and now on top of uh, pages and resources we now have another directory which is called clusters and if we are to open it then it has this hero icon obviously you can be able to change this to anything else after doing that, then we need to go to the resources that we would like to use this cluster and uh, then change the cluster string, passing the cluster string. So I want to go to resources and then we will go to message setting, this one here. And what we can do here, we will also on top of whatever other things that we have here, we will have protected static string. In fact, I can just copy what we are having above and just change this to cluster. And then we will pass in the name of our cluster. We have called it all settings uh, cluster. So I will just have it like that and then pass in class like that. I can be able also to copy what we have here sorry i can be able to copy what we have here and also change for the setting resource we will paste it here also and i would also like to try and see if our page the custom page will also have the same effect so i will also paste the line in uh, that page. So I'd like us to go back and try and refresh. We need to import our all settings class in all um, the places. That's the reason why we are having the error. So we will go back to message and import this class. 
So above here, in the class we are importing is um, app filament clusters all setting, and then save. And then also for our setting resource, we are also going to import the same class and save. I believe we could have not uh, probably saved one of them. I, we will also go to our pages, the custom page, and also import that class. We are getting that it's already imported, so we will save. So again, I would like us to attempt and see if now this error is going to clear out. And now you can see we have only two navigation items. We have users and we have all settings. So if I click on all settings, we are just getting that we do not have uh, the table for, for those um, resources. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run migration. So PHP artisan migrate because I had attempted to create some migrations though they are empty. So I refresh and now you can see we have the main menu and now we have a sub menu and then inside our sub menu we are having everything that we have here. Thank you very much for following this video tutorial. If you like the video, please click uh, the thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you.